I'm Daniel Kronauer and I'm the head of the Laboratory of Insect Social Evolution at Rockefeller University. So in my lab we use ants as model organisms to study social evolution and social behavior. And that's of course um, a fascinating topic because we as humans live in very complex societies. So as a first step we're interested in how individuals in a society communicate and in uh, insect societies that's mostly via chemical cues like pheromones. Um, then we ask how uh, these chemical cues affect individuals on a molecular level, so for example via changes in gene expression, how these changes in gene expression um, affect individual physiology and behavior and then how the changes in individual physiology and behavior feed back into the social environment of the group. So conventional model organisms like fruit flies and mice, they're of course extremely important to study many fundamental problems in, uh, in biology um, because there's a lot of uh, data already available and a lot of techniques. But there are also important questions that we simply cannot study with these kind of model organisms because, for example, they don't display complex social behavior. So this is the speech species we study here in the lab mostly, Serapacus biroi, our little model organism. And uh, the species has um, three great advantages over most other uh, social insects. So for once, the species is clonal, which means that uh, all the individuals inside the colony are genetically identical. Second, the species does not have queens. Um, which allows us to take like a big colony, for example, and split them up into small replica colonies. And uh, the third point is that the species uh, goes back between a foraging stage and a reproductive stage in very stereotypical cycles. And because we know that these behavioral uh, transitions are induced by the absence or the presence of larvae, we can, we can induce these uh, different behavioral and physiological states experimentally by either adding larvae to a colony or removing larvae from a colony. I've always been interested in the process of uh, evolution by natural selection. And at some point I realized that at every level of biological organization there are um, units that cooperate at the lower level. Genes, they come together to cooperate to form cells, then cells come together to cooperate to form multicellular organisms, and uh, multicellular organisms finally come together to form societies. Um, and there are very striking parallels at all these different levels. Um, so if you think about it in this way, you realize that uh, cooperation really prevails at all levels of biological organization. And I hope that uh, by studying insect societies, we'll learn um, something about the fundamental principles that underlie uh, evolutionary change and biological complexity.